Portrait of Rhea. Let me guess, you paint this in your free time. Hey, that's mine. Thanks for finding it. I thought so. It's kind of creepy, kid. Just FYI. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 16th episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. In the last episode, we had our first run-in with the Death Knight. We actually managed to get the Sword of the Creator and deal with the whole Goddess's Rite of Rebirth event. And uh, finally start learning what's kind of happening with the monastery and everything. And I'm excited to dive into this brand new fifth month of the game. So without further ado, let's get started. Tower of Black Winds Verdant Rain Moon Tower of Black Winds the ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Right. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. Hmm. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. Uh -oh. He's apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. He was disowned because he doesn't have a crest. This skirmish involves a holy relic, and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Ah, uh, maybe a crest discovery? I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! Rodrigue. It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. This is Rob Reek, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son Felix, ah, it's Felix's has dad. Okay. You on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Roderick? Huh. Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. Uh -oh. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me. 
that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. And that's probably the Fire Emblem of this game. Manuela's birthday. Oh, heck yeah. What do we think she likes here? Southern? She's from Adrestia. Thank you for your invitation. To what do I owe this surprise? It's your birthday? Thank you. It's good. Huh? Uh, it's gotta be one of these two, right? No! You want the gossip, really? Come on, Manuela. Huh? Cute monks. Yeah. Yeah. Training part. No, she doesn't care about that. Alright, unfortunately not a perfect one there, but Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be waiting, <laughs> Professor. Skip in the week. All right, okay, so we can't actually... Oh, it looks like we can. So once again, 100% global activity on Explorer, but that's that's really weird. Usually it's only 100% if it doesn't actually let you do anything else. All right, um, certifications we're good on. We'll just, I guess we're just gonna explore. This is the most um, eventful day of the month in terms of Sundays. Aside from that, there's a Fish of Mystery Day. But on this day, we've got Fistfuls of Fish and Fish Bounty Festival. Alright, so it's explore time. Alright, brand new month. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Of course, so this. Gerald. Oh, is this the month where he is at the cemetery? At long last? Let's um go talk to Sedith. So Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. Yeah, this is the one. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. Head out to the battlefield. I don't see how I could say no to that. Oh, 
You must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the goddess has seen fit to grant you. Huh. May I ask a favor of you? Okay. Well, oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Oh my! The Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual Crest of Flames! <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. <laughs> I must remain objective in my research. Objective. Professional. Uh. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... Don't you think Professor Hanneman's been acting a bit... strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Uh-huh. I'd say he certainly has. Ah, Professor. What an I'd like to learn more about you. Maybe. The assassination attempt on Lady Rhea. The theft of a hero's relic. I am up to my ears in foul news of recent. Speaking of, there's a terrifying rumor swirling around Garrett Mock these days. Apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping young maidens. Will the madness never end? Advice box time, Dorothea again. There's no rec real record of them, even memories fade. Will anyone remember me who were gone? Yeah, that's gotta be it. I'd like to borrow a book from the library, but there are so many to choose from. Do you have any recommendations? This is for Ash. He is from Fargus. Lug is the original king of Fargus. How about that one? No? Dude, I bet you that was a good story. Ah, that's Ignaz. Okay. So the whole plan to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? <sighs> There's going to be a big investigation into the Western Church soon. I wish I could be a part of it. I want to hear for myself why Lenato had to die. Poor kid. Alright, the artisan guy is here now, but I've not yet unlocked that, so... Not quite there yet with Renown. Let's go, uh, check out the Knight's Hall. Oh, Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. Really? It's like just straight north of here. I know where it is. Professor. Have you seen my son, perchance? I have need of him. Uh... Is that so? Darn Thank it. Thank you, Professor. I must ask him not to distract you, Professor, nor his highness from the matter at hand. Was he actually in his quarters? Darn it, he was. <laughs> ah. Oh well. What the? Professor. I'm so sorry my older brother is causing you all this hassle, Professor. Don't misunderstand. I always thought he was a piece of garbage. But I never thought he'd steal the relic. I can't wait to see his face when he realizes I'm in the group that was sent to take him down. Uh, we might have to have you get rid of him. Just seems appropriate, right? Especially after Ash. 
you know, just how we do things around here. That man I walked past earlier, that wasn't Lord Rodrigue, was it? House Fraldarius is a powerful noble family linked to the founding of Fargus. Lord Rodrigue, its current leader, is a magnificent warrior. He's known as the Shield of Fargus. A dozen or so years ago, during the northern campaign in Srang, he performed splendidly as the king's right hand. Come to think of it, wasn't there someone from House Fraldarius amongst this year's students? Yep. So here is the cemetery. There's now no longer anybody blocking it. So that's perfect. Hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. That's beautiful. Well done. You have my thanks. She was only 20? 1139 to 1159? Huh. Nameless mother. Even the cats are praying out here. Okay, that's so that's it. where this leads. Hey. Looks like we probably have full access to the monastery at this point. This is... That's Petra's. Yeah. She was here last time. Professor, you looked like a natural wielding the sword of the creator. It's strange, though, isn't it? The last owner of the sword was Nemesis, but I thought he didn't have any descendants. Okay. I've had a chance to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Seros before. I couldn't get a single strike in. If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? Probably reminds you of Annette, considering he's likely to be her father. That's interesting. That looks like Gilbert's going to be coming with us on this mission, though. Really? If she is to be believed. That's got to be Felix. Hello. Say, I hear that a knight of Seros named Gilbert will be joining us for our mission this moon. Seems like it. He is skilled, which is surely a boon for us. Still... That was not very thoughtful of Lady Rhea. No, it's nothing. In any case, you should at least introduce yourself to him before we depart. House Gautier is Sylvain's home. It would be nice of you to check on him as well. I know Lord Rodrigue. He paid repeated visits to his highness after the previous king was killed. Hmm. Mercedes. Her face looks familiar. Uh. What are you, her brother? Could be. Interesting. A lot of familial connections here with some of these characters, huh? Alright, room check time. Ah, perfect. That is the second time the Do's room had something in it. Me likey. Master classes have been unlocked. Wow. 
Holy moly. And we've unlocked Adjutants. So this is basically the pair-up system from previous Fire Emblem games. However, it works a little bit differently here. Basically, you can assign a student as kind of a backup support character to any other student. They won't be able to be switched out into combat or anything, but they will be able to gain EXP based off of what that main student does. We get a certain amount that we can do, and as we level up as a professor, uh, we'll be able to bring more along, but it's just kind of interesting. It's going to be a good way to level up really weak units, especially later on. I think that's definitely going to come in handy. They can also provide three types of aid. Following up, occasionally adds a follow-up attack in combat, kind of like previous pair-ups. Uh, guard, defending against and reducing damage from follow-up attacks. And heal, occasionally healing the host unit at the start of a turn. Very cool. They're more effective at higher support levels. They get experience in battle, like I was saying, but do not lose weapon durability and do not die if the host unit is defeated. Very cool. Aha. Whose room was this that I just stole a book from? Linhart. There's something. Uh, that's definitely Bernadetta. Eating cake. Huh. Uh, would she like it if I called her out or not? <laughs> there we You're go. getting pretty good at talking through the door, Professor. I think this is yours. I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. All right, let's check on the crops, and I see Manuela. All right, two roses, some yellow flower seeds, lavender, and white Verona. What is that? Ah, permanently increases res by one. Okay. Nice. This time, I will plant some more flowers because I think we might have to flower spam later on to make sure we recruit certain characters that we want. But last time I made the mistake of only planting one at a time. I can now plant three at a time. So I think we're going to go with yellow here. That seems like the right way to go. And we will cultivate them. Uh, why not? We caught a lot of golden fish. I think we got enough money at this point. I've also got a bullion to sell at least. At least one of them. It's awful. Just awful what happened with the right of rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again, and so I've come here to unwind. Poor Manuela. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. I'm gonna give her a rose. Thank you, Professor. She doesn't love it. That's uh, not the best, but okay. Have you seen a man who looks like me? He's middle-aged and relatively tall. If you get the chance, tell him I've gone out, okay? That's funny. He tells you to give the wrong answer to the father, but I bet you if we picked the right one, we would have gotten support with the father. Could have duped them both for the sweet, sweet bond supports. We could have duped them both for those sweet, sweet support points. Cyril, you're not a noble. What are you doing up here? I heard about the things you did. Yeah? I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. Oh, that's the only reason why you care. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. Yeah, alright, whatever. I don't like you very much, kid. Shoo. Lawrence's room. Those must be the flowers we bought him. Very nice. Hey, Teach. I hear you were able to use the sword of the creator. That means... What does that mean? <laughs> Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis? The King of Liberation? He's always on point. He always knows exactly what's going on.
Everyone else is like a normal NPC. He's like a next level NPC. That's so. Portrait of Rhea. Uh, that's hey what? You, Cyril, right down the hall? We've got some weird lost item spots here today. People aren't even that far from them. I heard about the. I'm so. I Let me guess. You paint this in your free time. No, not that. Hey, that's mine. Thanks for finding it. I thought so. It's kind of creepy, kid. Just FYI. So you have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You've certainly got the look for it. <laughs> Trying to butter me up, Dorothy? I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? Wow, you're trying to come on to me, huh? You and your class were at that fight in the Holy Mausoleum, right? I sincerely hope the Holy Artifacts are unscathed. I don't know, it didn't look too great down there. there to see it all, even if it does make me queasy. But I was there too early. I'd gone first thing in the morning. At noon, you actually woke up for something? Out saying I've been there too long. Who were they to decide when I've been somewhere too long? You probably looked a little uh suspicious. Hey, there's a net. Hey, professor, did you happen to see that man I was looking for earlier? I just spotted him by the dining hall, but then he ran away. Poor Annette. He to be honest, he's my father. He's using a different name now, but there's no mistaking it. It's him. I know it is. Huh. Father, I found you at last. Poor Annette. All right, so his real name is Gustav then. Wow. Okay, none of these are you. <laughs> hey, Professor. Don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests or heroes relics or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Uh, I don't think he's gonna like this answer. Personally, I don't even care that I don't have a crest. I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck, I'll take muscles over a hot meal. Actually, huh. All right, time for our right, monthly right. garden pillage. I guess it's weekly, but you know. Want to give me some bait, please? Apparently not. The head of the Western Church holds the title of bishop. That's not as distinguished as an archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. That's very insightful, Marianne. For a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the sword of the creator was almost stolen too. <laughs> also quite unheard of. What impudence. The coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, they say it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? <sighs> Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it, last month there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. Sorry, gatekeeper. 
But yeah, you didn't really do your job, did you? I could use your help. Ah, we can finally use the blacksmith. Would you help me out? Okay, this we already picked up. You. Yep. Hey there. Is it worth bothering to repair this? Uh. Is this it? I'm gonna say no. I don't think it is. Come back anytime. Not for now, at least. What do you require? Anything else we should grab here? Let's grab this. Do you for want you. to hire this battalion? We'll do our best. Farewell. I like that. There's some bait finally. Welcome. This one? Thank you. All right, we need to buy some more weapons for Sylvain here, including a steel lance. You absolutely need that. And what happens if you sell a broken one? Will this one you get anything for that? Many things. Ah, one gold. All right, I should have known. Oh well. I'm gonna grab you another brand new iron oh, lance. This one do? Many thanks. All right, that kind of fixes that up. You could use another iron lance oh, this too. One do? Many thanks. And I'm gonna sell. Well, no. I'm gonna buy for you a steel lance as well. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? And some steel gauntlets might be Many thanks. Will this handy one do? at some point, too. I think you guys are pretty good. Come back soon. Yeah, I like that. Rodrig in the flesh. What is Felix doing? This is such a rare opportunity for him to see his family. Is this yours? Yes, that's mine. Thank you very much. I've been looking for it. Right. Ah, there you are. Hail, Professor. If I may introduce myself, I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. No, Professor. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. I know your real name. Lawrence. I have heard that someone from House Gautier, one of the Kingdom of Fargus's noble families, is causing some sort of commotion. But a complete disgrace to the nobility. All right, everyone, this is where we're gonna have to cut this episode for today. Thank you so much for watching and getting this far in the video. Be sure to let me know how your playthroughs are going in the comment section down below. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll wrap up the monastery and get closer to the end of chapter battle. I can't wait. I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.